Hello, Grace family. This is Pastor Shane. I'm doing this to share with you this week's word of the week. Also, as a test run for what we may do this Sunday morning and for however many Sunday mornings that we need to for sermons, worship service in the coming weeks. So, I'm going to begin with prayer and ask God to bless our time and your reception of His word. Father, please. Take this time and use it to bless your people um, with what we need. Uh, thank you for your truth, especially in this time. And I ask that you would make it healing, helpful, strengthening for all your people that we make and have all that we need um, to have the strength that we need to seek and to share you during this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm going to share with you um, the word of the week and um, just uh, let you uh, hear it as opposed to reading it. I sent out an email earlier as well so that you could read it, but um, this is what I have for you this week. It's called Blessed Assurances to Seek and to Share. This past Sunday, we learned about the wonderful fact that we can and must remain focused on Christ because He has glory and grace and sovereign power that never changes. In Revelation chapter 1, the Apostle John testifies to these truths when he says, And when I saw Jesus, I fell at His feet as dead. But He laid His right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am He who lives and was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and death. That's verses 17 through 18 of Revelation chapter 1. So, what God is telling us there is that Christ's saving grace and sovereign power <clears throat> assure us that we will be with him forever and that he is in control of our living and our dying. As I quoted to you on Sunday from John Wolverd, As Christ possesses the authority over death, no man can die apart from the divine permission, even though afflicted by Satan and in trial and trouble. That quote is so important, I'm going to read it to you again. As Christ possesses the authority over death, no man can die apart from the divine permission even though afflicted by Satan and in trial and trouble. What an important truth in this season when all the world we live in is enveloped with fear and trepidation about this new coronavirus. And in addition to the truth of God's saving grace and sovereign power, we are assured by his word that his supreme love is ours at all times and through every trial. Romans 8, 35-39 tells us this in God's word. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Once again, this awesome fact that God's infinite love is ours through Jesus Christ, and that nothing that happens to us or around us can change that, must serve as the utmost encouragement during this season in our world and in our lives. Knowing that we are always loved by God and that His love holds so many promises for us and that whatever happens to us is under His sovereignty and love must give us confidence to continue to seek Him, to serve Him, and to share Him. So let's pray for one another and ask God to make that the case for such a time as this, that we would, by His saving grace and sovereign power and everlasting love, 
have the strength that we need to continue to seek Christ and to share Christ in 2020. God bless you. I look forward to sharing with you more and I hope to see you soon. Take care, guys. Love you, Grace Baptist Church. Bye-bye.